The idea came in 2012. I see this uh, dramatic situation of children and women walking for many kilometers every day, carrying with this uh, heavy yellow, you know, water tank. So you have uh, one, uh, the, the initial idea, the concept, taking water from the air, and from that we start to develop it. The technology behind the Wacom is very simple. It's based on natural phenomena. How it works is that uh, when it rains, the, the water is collected. When it doesn't rain and it is, uh, there is high humidity in the air, we can collect fog uh, across this uh, mesh that Warka is uh, holding. And then the material used are very basic, simple bamboo splitted. There is a canopy all around that is uh, providing the space for people to be sitting and relaxing even when it's hot. It's similar to what happened under the trees. And in fact, the Warka trees, from where the name of the project comes from, is where they gather, they meet, they also organize uh, school and education. So the Warka is not only one function, but it means to be, it wants to be much more. I don't see why in some other countries we should waste so much water and here, just because they don't have infrastructure to, to, or proper technology to get there, they have to risk life every day for this basic, uh, basic need. And this is a technology or the culture that I think has been lost completely. And now is the time to bring it back. Centuries ago, they already used this technique by digging up holes in the ground and covering with layers of mud and ashes, which permitted to the, uh, the water to condensate and provide water to the, to the communities. Warka can collect 100 liters of water per day. This is an annual average. It will cost $1,000 and it can be assembled in one day by three, three to four people. It is a challenge in the challenge, how to create water, how to create you know, this kind of sustainable structure and, uh, and support people's life. So this is what motivated me.